Hello geometers, this is Ms. Backfish and I'm here to talk to you again about circles and segment lengths with respect to those circles, you know, segments that are made up of secants or tangents or chords or different combinations of those. And when we look at these, first of all, make sure you're dealing with segment lengths. Always look and make sure you're seeing, yes, these are the lengths of the segments that I want to deal with. There are no degree symbols around. I'm not looking for arc measures or angle measures. I am looking at the lengths of the segments. And if that's the case, then the way we usually break these apart or, or categorize them is by where the segments meet. These two segments meet outside the circle. One is a secant, one is a tangent, but I'm not as interested in that as I am about the fact that they meet outside the circle. When my segments meet outside the circle, the way I sort of break down the rule is, I say I'm gonna write an equation it's really just expressing the proportionality here, but my equation is going to say the outer part times the whole length for one of the segments is equal to the outer part times the whole length for the other segment. And my segment could be a secant or a tangent. I don't really care. I'm going to look at one of them and say, okay, the outer part of this, the part that's outside the circle is just the three. The whole thing, and remember to get two pieces and say, I want to go the entire length, I would add them. Do not think 3x here. We're not multiplying. We would say, if I want this part plus this part, that's addition. So the whole length is 3 plus x. All right, so that's all having to do with this segment. Now I'm going to come over to the other segment that meets at that outside point and say, okay, what's the outer part of that? Well, what part of that segment is outside the circle? 6. All of it is. So the whole thing, what do I put? Well, the whole thing is six. When you have a tangent segment like this, the outer part is the whole thing. So you basically, for these two, you pretty much end up just multiplying it times itself. And that's fine, works perfectly. So I'm going to, I have my equation, now I'm ready to solve it. I'm going to distribute. Three times three is nine. Three times x is three x. Six times six is 36. So now I can subtract 9 from both sides. I get 3x equals 27. And when I divide both sides by 3, I get x is 9. So that's the length here of this chord. This part of the segment is a chord. So this has a length of 9. Always, always, when you find the value of a variable, go back and look and see if you're actually ready to stop or if they want you to plug it in. Like maybe they asked me for this whole segment and I would have to add 3 plus 9 now. But if I'm just asked to find x, if that's all it was saying, well, now I'm done. Hope this has helped. See you next time.